Solar. Yeah, white edges. Yeah, right. White edges. edges. Well, the name White comes to us from a Mr. White who in 1798 raised a militia in Bantry to ward off the French invasion at Bantry. For that he was elevated <laughs> to a lordship. He didn't go through the earl, he was made a peer at once. Now, he married uh, the Countess in 1766. Mm -hmm. All good. Good day, Danny. I, I have this for you, Con. That's a copy of my notes. Okay. Well, the building itself is safe. For, for, the, for the part we're going into, Danny, our local wildlife ranger, for the building we're going into, it is actually quite safe. I've been in there. Uh, but it, it is uh, it, it is slightly shocking because we're the stained glass windows are now slipping. Yes. And uh, the, some of the stained glass at the back of the altar. There's no Harry Clarks here. Do you know Harry oh, Clark? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the most famous of our stained glass manufacturers. Oh, yeah. We don't have uh, a Harry Clark here, but certainly they're a very very high standard. Mm -hmm. But to maintain. Oh, yes. and recreate yes. leaded stained glass yes. it's extremely <coughs> expensive mm -hmm. and I don't know kind of funding that wouldn't be my area mm -hmm. my my area really would be I suppose historic ecology mm -hmm. but then this this is a very it's an important building because it's an Elizabethan building yes. it's the oldest building in this town of the throne uh, it most likely, as I said yesterday at the meeting, the, uh, when the prods poured in in the Elizabethan period, they didn't build new churches. That was not done. Mm. They built on the ruinations of older sites. Mm. As the early church had built on the sites of the Druidic centres. Yes. So, Macroom, its old name was Achi de Borcon. Aki de Burkham. No one can quite help me with that. But in, in the life of St. Finbar, he was recruited as a first fruit. Are you familiar with the first fruits? The first male boy goes to the monastery, the first calf, the first horse, the first borns, the first crop of apples goes to the monastery. And when Finbar was recruited, he was recruited near a settlement called Aki de Barkan. So somewhere near here. And of course, Gugon is only really down the salon and as Kiron is himself writing in the steps of St. Finbar. Do you read the Cork Independent, anyone? Good day, Mary. Do you read? Good day, Sheila. And welcome back. Hmm? Oh, ladies, you're fine. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm being reminded to... to I'm being, good day, Kevin. I'm being reminded to by Tomasa Scanlon, who's a well-known historian. Tomas has just asked me to, to make sure people are at ease and to introduce each other. So we have Ian down from Armagh, Ian Stevenson, an evangelical. We have Kevin, a noted environmental biologist, who founded the McCroom Environmental Group in 1983. With Caroline Watson Robinson, sorry Robinson, yeah. uh, an Green Party member, an outstanding organic grower, and you can get Caroline's produce on Tuesday at the market. The market is actually from the early 1400s. I think 1426, McCroom got its market uh, through the McCarthy's. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Peter O'Leary, an historian from Eve Leary Parish. You've met Peter, have you? Uh, it is Kieran is writing the in the footsteps of St. Finbar, Peter. He's going from Dugan following <laughs> Peter O'Leary. Uh, Kieran McCarthy writes uh, an outstanding article, and I think you lecture G. G. Uh, Archaeology. Oh, well, okay. okay. Geography. Kieran McCarthy. And then there's Mary Moore, an outstanding seamstress. <laughs> the name of our business is what? I'm not doing that anymore. 
Six generations were champions. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I would argue, I mean, Peter would know more about DNA testing that's going on at the moment in my own parish to trace the different lines of O'Leary. But I would safely say that anyone who tells me that they don't have Cromwellian and or Williamite and or Elizabethan and or Cambro and or French Norman blood uh, is, 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 in, is, is not correct. The, officially, the blood bank in Dublin says no blood has ever come to the blood bank that doesn't have the French Norman blood of the 12th, 13th and 14th centuries. So we're, we're, we're all a big mix. It would, be, it would be a pity to think otherwise. And also Scanlon, as I say, is a historian. Peter is a therapeutic horticulturist, works with special needs in Bon Moor. Sorry. Are you, are you, are you, are you I lost my phone, I only got it back. Are you Mr. O'Mahony? Oh, I, I enjoy your pictures. Well, listen, does anyone mind standing in the door of St. Colman's? St. Colman's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can go and drive. What are we going to do? Are we going inside? Kevin, 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 please. Please, <laughs> <laughs> An Elizabethan building that's falling down around her. Please go into the picture. Please. Thank you. Hello, how are you? I've been trying to get back to you on my phone. I lost my phone yesterday. I just got it back. Thank you so much. I'd rather have a steak and a Okay, no, excellent. 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 The sun is going down.